Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our Friday Live. We're going to be doing a morning stretch and Pilates workout. So if you have any questions, pop them in the chat. But otherwise, let's begin. Okay, so starting standing up, we're going to get straight into it today. All right, so let's have those feet hip width apart. I'm going to go sideways so you can see. Let's pull the belly in, little tuck under with the pelvis, rolling down, so arms by your side, taking a deep breath in. You're going to exhale, taking the chin to the chest. I want you to pull your abs in, bend your knees. Let's start off with soft knees, rolling down to the floor. Inhale there. And then exhale, draw your abdominals in and come up through the spine. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, chin to the chest, bending the knees, rolling down. This time we're going to place the hands on the floor. We're going to try and straighten our legs a little. Whatever you can do, bend them. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Coming up. And again, deep breath in, exhale, chin to the chest, pulling the tummy muscles in, rolling down. So don't neglect that core. You're using the core, hands on the floor, little straighten of the knees, bend the knees, take a deep breath in and come on up. Good, inhale, exhale, pull the belly in, try and hold on to that contraction as you go down. Good, hands on the floor, little straighten of the legs, bend the knees, now stay here, stay here, and I want you to pull the tummy muscles in, and imagine you're sitting back in a chair so your arms can lift, and you're going to reach your hands forward, can you see? That's it, so we're going to get a little bit of leg work here, I want you to come up just a little bit, pull your abdominals in, close the ribs. Now I want you to take your right arm back, your left arm forward. So you're rotating, looking back to that right hand and come on up. Now the other way, right arm forward, left arm back. And back to center. And again, rotate. And back. Stay in that knee bend if you can. That's it. It's going to wake up those legs. That's it. And back. Rotate. And back, two more, rotate and back, rotate and back. Now stay here and I want you to take both hands behind you and reach them up. Behind and reach up, try and stay down. Behind and up, behind and up. Two more, behind and up and behind and up, take yourself down to the floor. Try and straighten those legs a little. Oh, that feels nice, doesn't it? A little bit of a relief there. Let the crown of your head hang down. Bend your left leg, get a little stretch. And straighten, bend your right leg. Good, little stretch. Can you feel that stretch in the back of the legs? Just keep alternating legs. That's it. That goes all the way into the lower back. Feels really good. Lovely. Last one. Taking a deep breath in. Exhale. Bending the knees if you need to. Rolling back up. Lovely. Well done. Okay. So we're going to take the right leg back, the left leg forward. All right. So in a standing lunge position. All right, draw the tummy muscles in. I'm going to really wake up that spine now. So you've really got a balance here. You're going to reach your right arm forward, your left arm back. All right, now I want you to feel this left shoulder dropping down. And I want you to see if you can rotate your rib cage without falling over. So you can turn a little bit more, looking towards that left hand. Can you feel that? Holding it there. Don't worry if you're wobbling. Wobbles are part of your practice. Three, two, one. 
Bring both arms up in the air, looking forward, little dip down, knee towards the floor and up, down and up, down and up. One more, down and up. Now open your arms out to the side, pull your tummy muscles in, leaning forward, hands on the floor and see if you can just drop that knee down. We're just going to get a little hip flexor stretch. So reach that knee back a little until feel, you can feel the stretch in your right hip. All right, it's all about the stretch this morning, waking up the body. And this area, the body is often very, very tight. All right, so hands on the floor. Take some deep breaths. Now think about pushing the mat away while you're holding that position. Let's try and bring our spine into a nice extended position. So we're trying to counteract all that rounding we do over the computer. Good. Four, three, two, and one. Well done. Tuck the toes under. Lifting up now, lifting up, lifting up, lifting up. Trying to get a little stretch in that front leg. And if you can, keeping the hands on the floor, you might need to bring them back a little. Lower that back heel towards the floor. Okay. Holding it here. And again, if you can, press the floor away and see if you can extend that spine so you're getting a nice stretch. Whew, that feels good. Now, if you feel you can go a little further, try and lift your left toes off the floor. Yes. So now we're getting that calf stretch as well. Good. Three, two, one. Well done. Come back to your lunge. And if you can, we're going to take that left leg back. We're going to lift the hips to the ceiling. Nice little stretch there. Lower the heels. And then I want you to walk your feet forward towards your hands. That's it. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, draw the tummy muscles in. And come all the way up. Now let's do that on the other side. Okay, so we're going to take our left leg back, right leg forward. We're going to square up those hips. That's it. Pull the tummy muscles in. So think about every time I give you a cue, try and address that in your own body. All right, let's take left arm forward. Let's take right arm back. Okay, so palms facing out. Then if you can, you're going to start to turn your head a little. Now see if you can turn the whole of your rib cage. So we're getting that rotation in the spine. That's it. Pull your tummy muscles in to support you. Good. And then from there, bring your arms forward, lift them up. Let's dip the knee down for four, three, two, one. And we're going to take the knee down, take the hands down. And we're going to find that stretch in the body. So you can have the knee down here. You can have the leg extended knee off the floor if you prefer. Whatever stretch feels good for you. It's targeting the same area. So we're trying to get that left hip flexor. Okay. Lacing that knee down. Now bring both hands down to the floor. Let's lift the hips towards the ceiling, trying to straighten those legs. Don't worry if you can't straighten them. Just find the stretch in your own body, wherever feels good for you. All right, but let's try and extend that spine a little now. That's it, pull the tummy muscles in. And if you can, you're gonna try and lower your back heel a little. 
See if you can get a little bit more stretch, a little bit more extension in that back now. And those of you that want to can try and lift your right toes off the floor. Pull those tummy muscles in. That's it. Well done. Take that foot down, take that body forward. Now take the weight into your hands and take that right leg back. Okay, if you need to, you can drop the knees down gently. Okay, we're gonna do three press ups, triceps, so elbows going back for three, two, one. Tuck the toes under, come into your plank position, lift the heels up to the ceiling, sorry, the heels, the bottom up to the ceiling, lower your heels down towards the floor, chest towards your thighs, and lift up, come back to your plank position, three more tricep press-ups here, knees down or lower legs straight, whatever you prefer, for three. Two, one, lift the hips to the ceiling, lower those heels, lift those heels, come down last time, three press ups for three, two, one, hips to the ceiling, nice stretch, lower those heels, lift those heels, and come all the way down. Now bring your right foot in, left foot in. That's it. Come and lie down on your mat. Let's do a little bit of our Pilates work now. So all the way down. All right. Bring your feet in. So they're really close to your bottom. Press your hands down. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, tilting the pelvis towards you. Peeling the spine up in the air, reaching your arms up and overhead, have them hovering above the floor. Take a breath in as you breathe out, slowly coming all the way down through the spine. That's it, one vertebra at a time, really using that core. Don't let your knees drop out and back down. Now leave your arms where they are. Deep breath in. Exhale, tilting the pelvis, peeling the spine up. Inhale there and exhale, slowly coming down. This time, bring your arms down in coordination with your spine. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, tilt, raise the arms, raise the pelvis, reaching those arms overhead. Don't let those ribs pop. Really use your glutes, inhale. Exhale, coming all the way down. Leave the arms there, last one, deep breath in. Exhale, tilting the pelvis, peeling up, pushing up through those hips, inhale. And exhale, coming down, bringing the arms down, all the way down with you, well done. Lift your legs up. So you can give you a choice today. You can have these knees bent or you can have the legs straight. Knees bent's gonna be easier. Okay, whichever works for you, I'm gonna go with this one today. Arms out to the side a little, palms down. Tummy muscles in, feel that little bit of connection. So your legs will come towards you just a tad. So you know you've got your lower abdominals on. And we're gonna inhale, taking both legs to the right. Exhale. Come back to center. Inhale the other way. Exhale back to center. If it's too much with the legs straight, then please bend your knees. And back to center. Inhale over. And back to center. Let's play a little, see if you can go a little lower. And back to center. Keeping that connection a little lower. And back to center. Last two. And center. And center. Well done. Lower your left leg. Right leg in the air. 
palms up. Now let's bring those arms up a little bit more so you get that nice stretch. Hip circles, so we're gonna go across to the left, circle around, across and around, across and around, across and around. One more. If you get a bit of clicking in your hips, don't worry. We're gonna reverse the direction. That's just tightness in the hips. Two, three, four, five. Well done, come on up, take hold of that leg. Let's give it a little stretch, take a deep breath in. Exhale, draw the leg towards you. Now, if you're feeling brave, you can lift your head up, nod your chin slightly, lift your head, coming up, and bring that leg towards you into a nice stretch. Start to lift your left leg up and switch over. So we're going to do circles on this side again. Keep that engagement there. Five circles, so across to the right and round. Four, three, two, one. Back the other way. Out. Five, four, three, two, one. And up, take hold of that leg. Little stretch, you can leave your head down. If you want to kind of add a little something, you can bring that head up. I would suggest you close those elbows and just bring that leg towards you, making sure you feel the stretch wherever that is for you is fine. Yeah, it's all about what works for you. Well done. And then we're gonna bring the other leg up. We're gonna bend our knees. We're gonna do a little swing of the legs. Bring ourselves up to sitting. Keeping our feet in the air, we're gonna add the rolling. All right, so we're gonna pull those feet in. Find that balance in your body, first of all. So release the tension in your shoulders, but let's pull the abdominals in so we can feel ourselves starting to round in our lower back. And we're just gonna keep pulling in till we roll back and breathe out to roll up. And back. And up. Back. And up. Two more. Back. And up. And back. And up. Take those hands underneath the legs. Lift up and just see if you can give yourself a little stretch and lower down. A little stretch and lower down. Stretch and lower down. One more. Stretch. Hold it there. Draw your tummy muscles in. All right, and see if you can take your arms away for four, three, two, one. Oh, well done. Okay, so from there, let's have those legs out in front. Let's lift up through the spine. We're gonna go straight into the saw. Okay, nice straight back, arms out to the side, palms forward. We're gonna inhale, rotating. And as you exhale, you're stretching forward, reaching towards your little toe, head down towards the knee, back hand down towards the floor. Then you're gonna come up. And back to center. Other way. Rotate to your left. Reach forward. Stretching it out. Keep your right hip, your right bottom cheek on the floor so you find that stretch. Up and back. Remember, this is our morning stretch. So we're stretching all different parts of the body. Good. And up and back. Rotate. Hand down. Up and back, two more, rotate and down and up and back and rotate and down and up and back. Well done. Bring those legs together. Take your hands behind you and you can have your fingertips pointing out. It's okay, this is the best position if your shoulders are tight. 
If you don't have any issues with your shoulders, you can have your fingertips pointing towards your body. All right, working the back of the body, stretching the front. You're going to exhale, pushing into the hands and the heels, lifting all the way up. So we're in our reverse plank. If that's too much, you can do this with the knees bent. Okay, so exhale, pressing into the hands, the heels, lifting up. Use your bottom muscles, pushing up and inhale down. So the head stays in line with the spine. So as you go back, your eyes will just sweep up the wall. You'll end up looking to the ceiling and down. Last one, lift, lift, lift. And down, well done. Coming forward, gonna cross your feet, come forward and back into your plank position. Now I want you to take your hands a little wider. Okay, and again, you can bring your knees down for this. We're gonna do press ups, this time elbows out for three, two, one. Lift your bottom to the ceiling, into your up stretch, lower your heels, lift your heels, come down. So your other option is to do it this way for three, two, one. Come into your plank position. Bottom to the ceiling, up stretch. Good. Lift the heels and come down last time for three, two, one. Bottom to the ceiling. Well done. Find that stretch here. Push your chest closer towards your thighs. Well done. Coming down, heels down, and then you're going to bring your knee forward. So right knee forward, turning to your left, coming onto your side. So you're kneeling up, okay, and you've got your, sorry, your right leg, right leg out, left knee under, okay, arms out to the side. So we're going to start by taking a stretch towards that leg, but we're not going to let this hand relax, okay? So we're going to come forward and over, stretching through the side. I want you to find that stretch all the way down the side of those ribs. Come back and then over and see if you can lift up for a little balance. All right, and again, so push off that hand, side stretch. Remember this arm doesn't lower. We're going to try and find that extra stretch up. Take the hand down, lift the leg at the same time. See if you can catch yourself. Good, one more. Stretch over. And back. And up. Holding it here. All right, now I want you to bend the leg at the knee and take the hand behind you to try and touch the foot and then reach back out, and again. Good, just doing three, and up. Now bend it behind you, this time reach, see if you can catch your foot. And if you can, you're gonna try and lift it up, find that little stretch, looking down towards the floor. Three, two, one. Now release that leg back out. Three lifts, lower and lift, lower and lift, lower and lift. From there, we're gonna turn. Ooh. So we've got our leg behind us, three lifts. One, two, three. Good, now I want you to tuck the toes under. Here is your challenge. Tuck the toes under on the right foot. Okay, so the leg that's bent, sorry, I'm calling the wrong leg for you, aren't I? The leg that's bent, that's the one you're tucking under. Now you're gonna try and lift straight up in the air into your nice up stretch. We call it elephant in Pilates. Nice stretch there. Ooh. And then come back to your plank position. Shoulders down. Holding it here for three, two, 
One, well done. Bring those knees in, turn towards me. Take the other leg out to the side. Okay, so just reset that body. All right, arms out. So we're gonna go over. Stretch, take the arm down, catch, and lift. Good, coming up and over. So this arm stays up, stretch, 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 out. Catch yourself, lift. Good, one more. Over and stretch. Out, catch and lift. Hold it here. Three, two, one. Now take the arm back, bend at the knee, but don't let this leg drop. And up, bend. And up, bend and up now bend see if you can catch that foot if you can you're going to grab hold of it you can hold that little stretch there you should feel the stretch with the whole front of the body good then you're going to reach out come back hold it here lower the leg and lift three times three two one well done, turn, turn, turn around. Okay, so from here, we're tucking the toes under the front leg, pulling the tummy muscles in. We're gonna push straight up, whoop, we go. Leg in the air. Nice little stretch there. Try and get the heel down if you can. Chest towards the thighs, good. Then you're going to come back to your plank position. So tuck the toes under. That's it. All right, now you've got two choices. You can bend your knees and come down to the floor, or you can lower through your tricep press up until you are all the way down. Well done. Let's have those feet slightly apart. Let's have the hands out. I want them slightly forward of the shoulders. How are we doing for time? We've got a minute or two, so let's have those hands a little wider. Let's tuck the chin, elongate the back of the neck, pull the tummy muscles in and just float your arms up in the air, reach them out, take them behind you and have a nice little stretch. Good. Now we're going to bring those arms forward, all the way forward. Let's get out of the way of my ball. That's it. Then to the elbows and come back down. Now this time, bring your hands in a little. So they're kind of level with your face. Elbows forward, feet apart. Let's do a little bit of back extension. So take a deep breath in. Exhale, think of the crown of your head reaching out and then starting to lift. So keep pushing out with the crown of your head, coming up until the weight is on your elbows. Shoulders drawing down, tummy muscles pulling in, trying to avoid any creases in the back of the neck, and then push into the arms, go as far as feels okay in your body. So whatever feels right. For those of you that can, you can come all the way up. Let's keep those abdominals pulling in, shoulders drawing back. Good. And then we're going to take the elbows down and come all the way back. Let's try that again. Deep breath in. Exhale. Think of the crown of the head reaching out. So as you're extending, you're lifting, you're lengthening through the spine, coming all the way up. Deep breath in. Good. And exhale all the way back. Let's bring our feet together. Tuck the toes under. 
Bring yourself up if you can. You're going to push straight into your plank position. Otherwise, come up into your plank position. Think of pulling the tummy in, lifting the hips up. That's it. Pressing the chest towards the thighs. Well done. Now walk your feet inwards towards your hands. We're coming up to finish now. Bring your hands in. Let your head just hang down. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, pull the tummy in first and start to come all the way up through the body. Turning to me, take a deep breath in, lift up. And exhale, stretching out. Inhale up. Exhale, stretching out. And one more. Inhale up. And exhale out. And that's your 30 minute morning stretch and Pilates workout. I really hope you enjoyed it. It's quite a powerful one today. Do let me know what you think in the comments below. Do go ahead and press that like button, please. Takes a second, does me the world of good. And if you haven't already subscribed, then please do subscribe. Uh, if you've got to go, then have an amazing day. If you want to stick around, I'll be on the chat for the next 10 minutes, okay? Well done, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that. Oh, that was quite powerful, wasn't it, this morning? I suddenly got the urge to go for it, and there we go. <laughs> so do let me know what you thought in the comments. Uh, and while you're just gathering yourselves together, I'm going to be on the chat, so if you want to make yourself a cup of tea, do. Um, just a little reminder about what's happening next week on the channel. So next week I've got three three sessions on a Monday. We're going to be doing six exercises, just six Pilates exercises. And these six exercises are pretty much what you could do every day to strengthen your core. They are also the warm-up exercises in my book. And I forgot to bring my copy in of my book, but my book is out next week. So these will be the six warm-up exercises from my book, The Little Book of Pilates, which comes out in the UK next Thursday, March the 9th. And then on Thursday, March the 9th, at 10 o'clock in the morning, I will be doing a live one hour, yes, a full hour Pilates class. And that's going to be all the beginner exercises from the book. That's 12 exercises. They're all the classical exercises. So some of you might not have done all of those with me because we do mix it up on this channel, but these are gonna be pure Pilates, the beginner's exercises. And although it says beginner, believe me, they're not necessarily easy. Some are easier than others. Some are quite challenging, even though they're in the beginner section. All right, so that's Thursday live at 10 a.m. That's a one hour, a full 60 minutes of me live teaching you. Okay, and then on Friday, the day after, because we're all going to be pretty worked, worked pretty hard, I'm going to be doing a standing stretch session. So that'll be a standing Pilates and stretch session on the Friday. So that's three workouts next week. Don't worry if you can't make any of them live. They all get uploaded to the channel as well, so you can do them when you wish. And then if that wasn't enough exercise for you, I've also created a special 31 day program, which uh, is called Get Fit in 31 Days March into Spring playlist. Okay, so I won't be putting out a new playlist this Saturday because you've got one for the whole of March that went out on the 1st of March this week. If you haven't started it already, don't worry, it's fine. If you decide you wanna do the 31 days, you can start day one, the very first one, and follow through. If you wanna hop in, uh, then you just look at the date. So today is the 3rd of March, so we're on day three. All right, but what I've done is that uh, playlist is a curated one, which will take you from absolute beginners to advanced in 31 days. Now, it is created for people who are able to move their bodies, who don't have any chronic conditions uh, or have had any major operations. So do bear that in mind. If you're someone that has to be careful with certain things, do the playlist by all means, but if something feels like it's not right for you or you know it's not right, skip it and go back to 
a video that you know works for you. But what I want to encourage you to do is all of you do Pilates every day for March. It's partly to celebrate my book, but it's partly because certainly on this side of the world, we're all moving into spring, hopefully. Uh, there's definitely some flowers in the garden. So we're moving into the spring and the better weather. And I just want everyone to feel really good and to better make the most of the good weather by feeling fit, well, and able to go out and do all those things that you love. Okay. And the videos are not all long. Some videos are 10 minutes, some are 20, some are five. There's a whole mix there. Some are easier than others. We've got a really good one, uh, which went out yesterday, which was about pelvic floor health important for everybody, men and women, to make sure you've got a strong pelvic floor uh, muscle. And the pelvic floor is part of your core, as you will find out when you read my book. All right. So do bear that in mind. So that's what's happening over the next week. Uh, and I'm going to dip in straight into the chat and uh, see what's happening today. I can see the chat is racing along there. So I want to say hello and thank you to Carl and Holkgren for your donation this morning. Thank you very much indeed. Hello to Ruth Enright. Thank you, Ruth. Lovely to have you here today. Many thanks indeed. Hello to Anne uh, from London. Sorry, Ruth, thank you for your donation. Hi to Anne from London. I'm just whipping through and just seeing if there's any questions as well. Uh, Anne, thank you for your donation. That's very kind. Much appreciated. I would say, I know I say it every week, but your donations do help me keep this channel going. They help me and Kerwin uh, and Boo. They keep Boo and dog food. <laughs> but they keep this going because it does take a lot of money to, to run all of this uh, broadcasting equipment, etc. And um, my lovely husband, Kerwin, he helps with all the technology side because that's not really my thing. And I'm constantly trying to learn how to do it. So what some of you might have noticed if you watch me on uh, YouTube regularly is I've started doing shorts. So shorts are a one minute video and it's kind of a snapshot of a workout. So I'm trying to do one of those every day as well for March. So that's my challenge because that's a little segment from that day's video. So it gives you an idea of things to think about or why this video might be good for you. Uh, so you'll see those guys. So if you get a chance, please do watch the shorts as well. You'll find them if you look on my uh, front page, my home page, and look along, you'll see it says home. And then I think it says videos. It's got shorts. It's got playlists. So the ones to be looking at are the playlist to find your 31 day playlist and the shorts if you just want to see little snippets of some of the videos. I'm starting to do a little bit more of that as well. Um, okay. Hello to Alnissa Jibri. Welcome, welcome. Uh, blessings to you too over in Atlanta, Georgia. Thank you very much for joining me this morning. Hello to the lovely Kathy Freeman. Hi, Kathy in Berlin. Hoping it's a little bit warmer. Uh, hoping you're less creaky now, Kathy. You said that you've got some creaky limbs. Uh, we did quite a deep stretch today, so hopefully um, that felt good. All right. Hi to Tony Bryans, Yvonne Thorpe. Yvonne, thank you for donating to next week's. So don't worry. It's all good and it all helps. Thank you very much indeed. Hello to Soma Felida. Soma says, good morning, everyone. Great to be here with Rachel Kelvin and all our Pilates friends. It is. And we do have a beautiful, if I do say so myself, a beautiful Pilates community. You're all so kind and supportive, not just to me, but to each other as well. And I really want to keep that going and to grow that. So if you know anyone you could share this with to get more people involved in our community, that would be wonderful. Uh, Linda Verney Thompson. Linda, thank you so much for your donation this morning. I really appreciate that. That's really going to help. Thank you. Uh, hello to Marilyn Boykins, who says, I subscribe to your YouTube channel. I'm new to you. Uh, do you do chair exercises? Marilyn, yes, I do. If you do, go onto my front page of the channel and below my picture over on the, uh, it'll be your left. Is that right? No, yeah, you're right. On your right, you'll see there's like a little magnifying glass. It's a search bar. And if you put in that search bar chair 
and you'll get the chair workouts that I've got. I've got about four or five on there now. I've got pelvic floor health in the chair. I've got lower body workout in the chair. I've got upper body workout in the chair. I've got a full body workout in the chair. And I've also got a couple that I haven't put out yet, which are going to be going out soon. I just haven't had the time. Next week's a bit busy, but the week after, I will try and get those out because my book's out next week and I've got a few very exciting. I've got some interviews and things uh, coming out from, with magazines and I've got to do a few more interviews as well. So, um, But I will have more for you. But there's a good four on there for you to get started with. And welcome to the channel. Helen Lees, hello Lee, uh, hello Helen, good evening to you in Tasmania. Uh, love these stretching workouts, always feel so good after a stretching. Yes, I do too, that was quite a powerful one today. I would say everyone, we I put this as an open level, I would say this is probably closer to intermediate level that we did today. Uh, and whatever you did, don't worry, it's fine. You were here, you turned up, you showed up, you did your best. That's all anyone can ask. So thank you very much indeed. Leslie Matten. Hello. Uh, you're going to do your class tomorrow because you've done a class already today. Good for you. Well done, Leslie. Thank you very much indeed for your donation. Much appreciated. Hello to Fatima Katiri. Hello to you. Lovely to have you here, Fatima. Josie Briggs says uh, uh, has donated three pounds. Thank you, Josie. Much appreciated. Yvonne Woodhouse says, I think that was the hardest one I've done, but I really enjoyed it. Thank you for pushing us. Oh, you're very welcome. Yeah, it was quite a tough one. And you know what, Yvonne? I have started doing um, a weekly class myself somewhere just to give myself a little bit of time out from my own practice and try other things, uh, try something new. I'm actually doing a yoga class once a week as a kind of change. And I've realized there are certain things that do really push me as well. And I just think when you do something, like you just say, you do something and you feel you're being pushed, but you kind of achieve it, or even if you get halfway there, it's such a satisfying feeling afterwards, isn't it? So mentally, it gives you a boost. And then physically, of course, you've done yourself the world of good. So you're very welcome indeed, uh, Yvonne. Uh, Rona Stevens, hello Rona. Rona says, very good, hard work on the wrist, but feeling thoroughly warmed up now. Yay, thank you, Rona. Uh, Ruth Enright says, that was tough. I couldn't do the leg lunges, side lifts, no lift at all, but I tried. You just do what you can. Josie Briggs says, good challenging class, uh, which I do admit several modifications made. Looking forward to the arrival of the book. Yay, well done, Josie. Uh, Robin Newcomb says, that was a challenge. We'll feed it later for sure. Lots of clicking going on, but a great workout. Thanks, Rachel. You always encourage us to push ourselves. You're very welcome, Robin. Hayley Jupp, good morning, Hayley. Lovely to have you here. Uh, shoulders and wrists are a bit weak, but enjoyed that. Kofi, done. Bless you. Thank you very much, Hayley. And well done. You did your best. Yeah, that's all anyone could ask. Sally Gretaret says, thank you, Rachel. Really enjoyed that. Looking forward to next week's hour workout and receiving my book. Yay. That's brilliant. I'm hoping we'll have the book to show you next time as well. Um, Tony Bryan says, thanks, Rachel. Tennis elbow, arm, tendons. Still not quite right. I had to adapt. Uh, but enjoyed the full body stretch. Looking uh, to work abs. So looking forward to next week's classes. You will definitely, Tony, get a huge ab workout next week because the the exercises I've got for Monday are very core focused and there's only six and we're going to do six exercises over 30 minutes. So I'm going to be very detailed and there's going to be quite a lot of repetition. So you're definitely going to feel that. And that's a perfect warm up for the full one hour that we're going to do on Thursday. And I promise you, you are going to feel it in a really good way. So uh, exciting stuff. Susan Mitchell. Hello, Susan. Lovely to have you here. Susan says, uh, thank you, Rachel. We'll look forward to three sessions next week. Kofi done. Oh, thank you, Susan, for the Kofi. Much appreciated. Have a good weekend. Look sunny in Brighton. Yeah, it's really, look at it. It's really, really sunny out there. So cold, but lovely, sunny and fresh. 
Uh, so all good. And from London says, powerful indeed. Have started the March playlist, but a day late. Thank you, Rachel, for all you do. We're very grateful. Oh, bless you. Thank you very much indeed. Hello to Zoe Addison. Hi, Zoe. Lovely to have you here. And Zoe says, oh, thank you, Rachel. That was good. Kathy Freeman says, definitely less creaky after this workout. Glad to hear that, Kathy. Rona Stevens says, I'm on day three of the March playlist. I'm surprised how much it's lifting my mood each day. I'm so pleased, Rona. So, so pleased. And Soma Fleeda says, yes, the community is so nice. Kathy Allen says, good morning from snowy Chicago. Hello, Kathy in snow Chicago. Love your classes, Rachel. Oh, bless you, Kathy. Thank you so much. Yes, well, I hope you stay nice and warm in Chicago. It's fresh here in the UK, and as you can see, the sun is pouring in. That's the one thing I noticed being a Londoner. I've been, I lived in London all my life, except for the last three, three years, two years, three years, three years now, and uh, coming up to three years. And I've never seen so much sunshine as living in Brighton. It really is so different, even when it's cloudy in London. It's the sun is always shining here, which is fabulous. Uh, so well done, everybody, for today. If you haven't already, do press that like button. I know I keep saying it, but it makes a massive difference. It's something to do with the algorithms on YouTube. I don't understand it, but the more likes I get, uh, the more my channel gets kind of pushed out and suggested for other people to join in with. So thank you very much for pressing the like button, the person that just did. Bless you. Thank you. And all of you have a wonderful day. Don't forget, I'll be back. We have three workouts next week uh, and we have got the launch of the book in the UK. So we'll be very excited to do our extra special workout on Thursday. So until then, take care of yourselves. Have a wonderful weekend. And I'll see you next week. Bye for now.